Movement. Yes, yes. Episode five? Five. Episode five. Look how time flies. Nope. Ooh. Episode six, Drake. Six. My it bad. is episode <laughs> six. My Man. Bad. Okay. It's getting old. It's crazy. I woke up today and I was picking out my hair and I felt the back of it and it was just a straight patch, bro. Like, like gone. Gone? Like, it's gone. Like, yeah. I, I got several though. Oh, a couple of days. I'm going Jordan, bro. I'm about to do the murder one. You know, get the get the one blade and cut it down, and then just let it trickle let it. away. That's why I got married early, bro. Yeah, I'm like you in. You good to go. Uh, <laughs> to yeah. death do us part. Wait, if you got if you got, if you got a patch, you, you got to cut. You gotta it. Go yeah, you got to go now. You got to go now. Got to go now. There's no way around it. No way around yeah, it. It's over. Yeah, you know, yes. I think about it a lot. A lot of my downtime, right? The ride home, I'm just like, my hair is leaving. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I have a downtime, you know, people pull out their cell phones. I think about yeah. my hair. Yeah, yeah. I man. did the same thing. Just I just cut it. I just kept cutting it lower, 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 <laughs> lower mm-hmm. until I was brave Had nothing to cut. <laughs> right, it's time. I ain't it's got time. much left. Yeah. I think some people battle with the head shape. Yeah. So oh, it's like mm, as he looks they at hold me, hold on to the hair yeah. because of the head shape. Yeah, I got the peanut joint. It's a rap. You, you got, see, it is Mr. Planners. Mr. Planners. down the street. They go Nor. That's Nor. <laughs> Mr. Planners, for sure. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, as you see, we have a guest today. Yes. Mr. The Fatherhood Coordinator, uh, Accounting Guru. Dope. Entrepreneur, wow. philanthropist, good guy, genuine, authentic. Yeah. Mr. Mario Harmon. How's it going, Mario? Oh, man. That was great. Wow. I don't think I've ever got an introduction you like that. You would have got more if you talk about my head. <laughs> no, man, I'm, I'm happy to be here, man. I appreciate sure. you guys for for, sure. for inviting Glad me. Glad to have you, bro. Man, this setup is nice, man. I, f- I feel real important. You know, I feel real VIP right now. <laughs> um, but, yeah, man, just Dope. thank you guys for having me, and I look forward to having a great discussion with you guys today. Man, we're looking forward to it, and, you know, this wouldn't be a real interview if my man Dre wasn't here. Dre, how you doing today, brother? I'm doing great, man. Glad to be here. Can't wait to, you know, dive into the topic and, yeah. you know, see what uh, Mario has to say. And also learn, listen and learn, man. You know, that's I think that's that's huge, too. Um, can never be uh, too old to learn. So yeah, I like that about Dre. That, bro. You always got your cup half empty and always, <laughs> always are be willing to be poured into, even if you feel like a... Uh, expert on the topic, Dre. You just always are willing to, to be poured into it to learn. You do. Yeah, you you do. Um, yeah, so, yeah, and then it's me, as in the Normeister, Big Norm. No, sure. this is Norm, man. It's sure. good to be here today. You Big Norm. Yeah, Big Norm. <laughs> big man. Norm. Hey. I'm going to let your oh dad God. know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah big yeah. Norm now. Yeah, big Norm. I'm, I'm Big Norm now. I got the juice now. All right. Got the, yeah. <laughs> no, man, it's good to be here today, man. We sure. got a really good topic today. Um, and, um, when we were discussing the topic, I automatically knew who I wanted on the okay, show, that's good. um, who was just going to bring so much insight, um, who was going to be real, talk about those childhood memories and, and, and what they went through and how they became the man they are today. Um, so today we're talking about discipline. Yeah, wow. Discipline. It's good. Crickets. Yeah, man. It's discipline good. is a tough one. No, it's I know when I hear the word discipline, I have all types of things that come to my head and none of them are good. Right. You know, especially when you think of your childhood. Yeah. So we're talking about as fathers, um, what our experience um in the past were like when we talk about the dis- disciplining as a child, um, things that our parents uh did to us or uncles or grandparents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and how that affected the way that we parent now. So, yeah, uh, like I said, when I think about the word discipline, it's just those nasty memories. What about you, fellas? When you hear the word discipline and you're thinking about as a father, what what comes to mind? Yeah, I think for me, <laughs> just the past comes up. <laughs> uh, man, you know, we got into a lot of trouble. <laughs> we got into a lot of trouble, man. Um, so it was words. It was so just be like, come on, man, you know. Um, so, but but it, it was needed. Mm. Uh you know, you learn from it, of course. Um, you get better, and then as a as an adult, you're able to look back. Once you start having your children, the ways that you discipline them, you you're able to kind of look back and say, okay, I'm not going to do that because mm. I know how it affected me at that time. Mm. You know, so I think that's um, that was a big thing. No, you know, I, that, that was a big thing. 
That's real. That's real. Mario, oh, man. you hear the word discipline. And what, what comes to your head? You know, when I think of discipline, it, very similar to Dre, it's like you got memories. Memories pop up. Um, but I think having, like, older siblings, mm. I have the experience of that. what I had when it comes to discipline. And we're just talking about behavioral. Um, my sister was a lot worse than I was. So I think I got the message early. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah. I observed a lot. A lot of uh, different forms of discipline, mm. um, some of which I don't agree with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, I'm 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 ready to unpack that with you guys. But man, I, I think, uh, you know, when when you're looking at how you were raised as a child, a lot of that plays a huge part in how you discipline your children. For sure. And so we really have to be intentional For on sure. how you know how that plays out. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I know. That's good. Yeah. Uh, it is that learned behavior. You know, a lot of times we parent yeah, how we are parented. That's it. You know, if you Ooh. talk, you know, yeah. I got, when you talk about whoopings, I mean, they were close to to no, beatings. And because, for sure. For sure. and I had really involved in great parents, but I'm being real, they, mm-hmm. they did not play. But then, you know, when you have the conversation with them about where their style of discipline came from, came from their parents exactly. and I bet you'll trace all the way back to your ancestors exactly uh, of where you know especially yep. in the community of about being spanked and whooped with belts yeah me extension cords at times just keeping yep. it a buck you know that 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 is strain force of discipline yep. um how many yeah you guys all got whooping spankings growing spankings whoopings <laughs> growing up I did yes you did, you did. <laughs> I did yeah okay. Yes, with a with a belt. Uh, yeah, I never got that. A belt was the was the go to. Okay. Uh, you know, your mom might take a sandal off. You know. What I'm yeah, saying? yeah, 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 yeah. The switch. <laughs> whack you or something or yeah. switch. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I was fortunate enough that I didn't have to pick my own switch out though. Cause to uh, me, that's just even worse. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's wow. an experience. Luxury right there. Right there. Oh, okay. Wait, oh, okay. wow. <laughs> You didn't never get that experience. I never had to pick my own Man, switch. Man, Mario, what's no, the rule when no. it comes to switches? What is the rule? I'm going to see if you know. This is a test. You- there is no rule. There, pick your poison. Pick your poison. Thin, it goes fast, it whips you oh, with stings. Okay. okay. Thick, <laughs> it goes slower, but it hurts. I got it down. Pick your poison. You're right. You're right. I know I used to try to pick the baby one, though. Come on. You pick the baby one. They come. She, she going to pick get the it. one yeah, for exactly. you. Exactly, yeah. And she yeah, coming with yeah, the yeah. king branch. Yes. She yeah. picked up a whole half a tree. My now. boys used to tell me about that. Yeah, I you picked pick the wrong up. one. <laughs> yeah, you got you got to get something that's going yeah. that's going to satisfy you your parents. Yeah, get it. yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. It's, it's not good. about you. Get it's not good. about you. <laughs> what about you, Mario? What was what was it like? Uh, yeah. Um, I've definitely had the switches. Mm. Had to pick them out a few times, but like I mentioned, I got the message early. Mm. Um, I think for me, I've, you know, I've gotten whoopings by just laughing at my sister from getting whoopings, uh, you know, so that for me right there was yeah, okay. Yeah. But you think about that, you unpack that, you know, I can't laugh. It's a lot to it. Right. Mm. But I, I think for me, I was, uh, I was fortunate to get the message early. Um, but, but that's a, a tough situation because that really affects a lot of individuals that come from where we come from mm. and that's and it's so deeply rooted oh, that's, good. Um, that's why it's so hard for a lot of uh, a lot of parents to step away from that type of discipline absolutely it's deeply rooted right it's yeah very deeply rooted yeah. I was uh, yeah. there's there's an author by the name of dr. DeGru or DeGry um, who d- has a book called post-traumatic slave syndrome right Mm. And when you think about uh, disciplining and how in slavery, right? Makes sense. When someone was running away or slave Makes was sense. on the field and they weren't doing what they needed to do according yeah. to authority, yeah, right? Yeah, for, sure. right? for sure. For sure. They were tied, took their shirt off, and they were beaten. Yeah. And when you think about whoopings, it's not far from that, right? I don't <laughs> know about that. you. I had to take my shirt off sometimes. Yeah, yeah we got to pull that. our pants yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, okay. Whatever. Yeah, oh, I feel yeah, a little better. Yeah, I thought I was, no, yeah, no. no I, I, yeah, you had no. Try to put on the two sweatpants <laughs> and a sweatshirt, and they'd be like, nope, nope. Come up off nope. that. Come up off that. And and I think in the book, like I said, back to Doctor Degru, that that comes from those learned behaviors of you do wrong, these are the consequences. Um, yeah, yeah. I know mm-hmm. my dad thinking about it too, being young black men 
growing up in the neighborhood that we grew up in, they felt like if I don't get the message across to you now, the yeah, judge is going to be the too. one yeah, that yeah, gets the message yeah, across yeah. to you. So yeah. a lot of the discipline methods yeah. were out of fear. Yeah. No, that's good. That's wow. tough, man. Because some of that is a justification to mm. physically discipline, some will say. Mm. I agree. That's I agree. good. Yeah, that's good. I agree. Um, where mm. else do, when you, when you think about whoopings, where else do you receive physical punishment for your behavior? Right off top, nowhere. I can't think. There you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. How's that preparing you for life? Ooh. No, that's if good. You too. get that type of discipline nowhere. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. It, and uh, within, uh, you know, working in Head Start in preschool, right? I remember when I first started working in preschool and elementary, it was, you know, when children uh, were having a hard time, it was do this. Or you would talk in a quiet voice, and it would say, "Hey, let's sit down, let's work through it." And I was like, "What? Mm. What? What? <laughs> right? They ain't right. gonna listen." To, you know, that's that's the thought because that's all I knew was mm-hmm. spank. Is now I'm not saying we whoop the kids or anything like that, but I was looking for more of extreme measures yeah, of disciplinary yeah, right, actions, right? right? But what what I learned is when a child is making a mistake or they don't know how to do something, what do you do? You teach them. You, teach you show them. them. That's it. And in discipline, that's not necessarily what you're doing. Yeah. Right. And that physical discipline, you're teaching them to turn off their brains mm. and turn on the physical aspect. Mm. That's mm. not how life works. Mm. We all know that mental drives action, drives a lot of action, right? So it's it's crazy. And I'm always trying to break down that stigma, and I've gotten into – several debates, you know, <laughs> with people about okay. um, whooping their kids, you know, to each his own, but I'm going right. to give you, you know, my perspective on it. Right. Okay. And I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people will attest to if they're, you know, if they're well off people, if they're, you know, um, yeah, if they're well off, they'll say, well, look at me, like I turned out great. Mm. They give so much credit to the physical discipline. Mm. And I think that's where, I draw the line. Mm. Um, I can't give credit to the physical discipline. Now, it could be the communication piece that comes along with the physical discipline right. that, right. you know, that that right. parent may give. Right. I, I've seen that to be a, you know, yeah. a, a common factor, but I can't give credit to the physical discipline. No, uh, and and I, I feel like good. it's not even in condemning parents, right? Because, like I said, looking back, mm that's all they knew. That's all they knew. Yeah. There wasn't any other methods. Yeah. There wasn't any sit down. There wasn't a curriculum that yeah. they were looking through, right? Yeah. It was this is all I know. And yeah. I think the only way we break these cycles is through education. So we we really want to be clear today that we're not condemning any parents right now. I got to keep no. it uh, uh, honest with you. You know, I've spanked my daughter before, my nephew. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's it's, it's the truth. Um, I think what we're really trying to get at today is the education of not only educating parents, but encouraging parents to sit down with their children and to have the discussion about what is going on, right? Yeah. So, Dre and Mario, what? Are, so a child, let's say a child is going to school, right, and he is just <laughs> doing the fool that day, right? Okay. Just wilding out, having a hard day. He gets home from school, right? You got a call from the teacher. Jamal is just, I mean, he was just all over the place today. He was very rude. I couldn't get to him. What now? What would you guys do in that situation as parents? Well, I think for me, it's it's, it's definitely sitting them down, see what's going on, it's something deeper. Some, uh, And, you know, sometimes kids have bad days, you know, and I think explaining to them that it's okay to have bad days. Mm. That's okay. You know, uh, I, I think that's huge because now they seeing that uh, mommy or daddy, they kind of understand it. You mm. know what I'm saying? And, and being uh, empathetic towards me. You know, I think that's, that's, that's a huge thing. Um, now, I would say 
this is 38 year old me though talking. <laughs> so right. if this was 28 year old me talking, it, it'd be something totally different, you know. <laughs> and uh, earlier on, I was I, I would I would spank or, or whoop my children, you know. But 38 year old me is kind of like um, there there was other ways mm. to discipline. Um, and I it was one instance I had to like apologize to my my oldest son like. Listen, man, I, I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, I I know I, I probably shouldn't have been whooping on you uh, when you messed up, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so that was a conversation that we had. So, you know, I asked him to forgive me. You know what I'm saying? We was able to, to move on, you know, and it just bettered our relationship, you know, of course. But, um, again, looking back, or, or, or I should say now, um, it's, just, it's just about communication is everything sitting them down, getting an understanding, being empathetic towards our children, um, I think is, is, is key. Um, what do you think, Mario? Man, I agree. I show, uh, I agree, man. I think um, that that shows a lot as a parent for you to be able to sit with your child, apologize, and showing and showing that transparency because those type of things stick yeah. with, with yeah. children, mm. yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, just to kind of elaborate on your example, I agree with Dre. I think having that conversation, informing ourselves as parents, what's going on yeah. with your child today? Yeah. Because I don't know about you guys, but I've had bad days where I'm thinking I can punch some things. Yeah, for sure. I can, you know what I mean? Yeah. I can cause yeah. some. So if you translate oh, that real. to a child, yeah. that's going to come out. Yeah. They 100%. haven't lived long mm-hmm. enough. You know, to to um, gain that emotional intelligence. Absolutely. And so I yep. think um, that's key is figuring out what the root is. And if it's just a bad day, that may be the root. Mm. And then you ass- and then you assess a discipline from there. Okay. Yeah, you for know? sure. Because you're sure. not saying no consequences. Correct? Yeah, you're not no, saying no oh, consequences. No. Yeah. Something okay. got to happen. I got to take your phone. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, something you, has you, to. You got to spend yeah. a day in your room. Yeah. Or, yeah. You know, so, something. Something, something has to happen. Something has to happen for sure. I have, yep, to, te- I I have totally to teach agree. you, right? I have yeah. to teach you through. So, yeah. And I think like Marielle said, though, you just said that um, where else do you see this in life when you talk about uh, the corporal punishment and the spankings? But back to this, to the consequences, you do see that in life, right? Correct. So there are consequences. For sure. But instead of uh, taking your phone away or your video game away, They'll take your freedom, though. But something is yeah. being taken. Yeah. And even that's an extreme. But you look mm-hmm. at, like you said, corporate, you look at, they take away your money. You know mm-hmm. what? You're going to get suspended. Oh, you're right. Unpay. Yeah. No, you know, pay. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to sit home and think about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. You know, how do I need to correct that? So I think that's, you know, and it's mental. We talked about that. And I think that's where we need to focus on. I know yeah. growing up, you used to hear, yeah. you know, kids um, getting time out. Yeah. He's like, time out, man. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> I would have yeah. got whooped. What? Bruh. Time out. Easy. But you think about that. You put a kid in time out, they think about. You're right. Oh, for sure. You're right. For sure. At some point, you know, they may cry, they may get emotional, but at some point, it's going to stop. Absolutely. And they're going to think about yeah. why they are right here in this mm. spot. And how, what do they have to do to not be back in this spot? Exactly, because they, yeah, they don't like it for real. <laughs> and that's what discipline is about. Mm. Yeah, you that's know? good. That's good. Bro. I like that. I like that. I think that's what we're doing. We're, we're educating parents right now. Because a lot of times, I know when I got spankings, you know, I remember how it made me feel. But then I remember seeing that, you know, looking at my dad in his face and seeing the hurt there, right? Mm. Because he had no, uh, he, he didn't have any other tools in his toolbox yeah, when it I came to you. discipline. I and it was almost, I think I heard you say the term before pre-recording uh, that, that emotional discipline. It. Sh- touch a, a little bit more on that that, that emotional discipline. Okay. I was going to give an example too. Um, so you think about if you're, you know, if you're um, working your kids. So let's say we have a long, I'm going to just give an example. We have a long day. Yep. You know, long day at work. Mm-hmm. It's been okay. long and stressful. And on top of that, you hear that your kid has been acting up, whether it be in school, in public, whatever the case may be. You hear that from your significant other. You hear mm-hmm. from someone is going to trigger your emotions, right? If you hear from your significant other, you may see, like, the stress, the frustration with them rubs off on you. Yeah. So there's that there. Yeah. You hear from a teacher or a principal, wow, my child is acting out in public. 
I feel embarrassed. I, know. Yeah. I feel it's some it's emotion to That's it, right? Yeah. yeah. And so we have to be careful because you can now filter that emotion through the physical discipline. Mm. And I don't I can't recall a time yeah. that I got a whooping where my mom was emotionless. Mm. Yeah, right. No. Right. That doesn't happen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. It can't happen. Yeah. This, is, this is good, right? <laughs> wow. It really can't. And so I think that's that's, that's why good. physical discipline is, I appreciate is that really too, I appreciate is, that. is really that's um good. detrimental because then also now the effects of that is if that child is seeing you show emotion while you're physically disciplined, then what does that mean when I talk about you or I talk about your mom or, I, you know, I, we in school and I'm talking about you mm -hmm. and I'm blazing on you and we mm -hmm. supposed to be laughing, but you get mad and physical is going to come out at some point yeah. because that's what we know because yeah. we get, oh, we get physically good. disciplined mm. at home. So it shows up in so many that's ways, so that's it. you know, and it can be a pipeline to prison. Domestic violence, yeah. all of it, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. Mm. So good. That's wow, good. you just connected so many dots. Yeah, that's good. You know, I think that is the fruit, the root to a lot of that. You, you're angry yep. if you're feeling, you know, hurt about something. It's yep. the physical. How do we let it out physically? Um, and, and it's just so good to have this conversation, man. Like I said, I think <laughs> you you good. just can only imagine of how many people are driving right now or listening. To this like. Maybe it is time to switch it up. Maybe it is. There are other options when it comes to discipline. And like I said, this isn't to condemn. This is to educate yeah. so that we can produce better results in our children, right? This is an opportunity to break almost a generational curse. Yeah, it you know, is, though, Generational habits of learned behavior of, wow, you know? So yep. I, I'm excited for that. Oh, no, that's good. Now, I, I think another piece within it, so – what are some ways to make sure or some checkpoints when disciplining, right? So when mm. you're, you're getting ready, you hear your child is having a hard day and they're acting out in school, what are some checklists you should do with yourself to, to know that you're in a, a right place to um, have the conversation? Does that make sense? That's good. No, I think that's good. I, I think Mariel, <laughs> I'm saying listen to Mariel, man. So what Mariel yeah, saying, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. I think uh, put yourself in time out first. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And really think that's about yeah. the situation. Good. Yeah. Mm. You know, and like I mentioned before, inform yourself. So, you know, get yourself prepared to have that conversation with your child. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. get the information on what's going on. Because I've I've gotten whoopings where I didn't even, I couldn't tell my side of the story. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, no, come on, no, no, right. yes, But, I you know, I have right. Received but but they hit it. me first or, mm. but, you know, mm -hmm. you, you just yeah. never know. Yeah, that's good. So yeah. you really have to put yourself in check. Yeah. Time out, all right, let me think about this as yeah. a parent. Wow. You know, and then make sure you're including your, your, your child in that discussion. And you you mentioned earlier communication. Yeah. When we were talking, yeah. you know, before this is, yeah. communication has to be embedded in any form of discipline you do. Wow. It shouldn't be a add-on or, nope. no. Discipline, mm -hmm. communication should is. Should be the root. I mean, that it, should be the center of focus right there. It should, it should be, be the, the dialogue, focus. the conversation. So the learning gets taking place. There There's you go. no learning and a spanking happening, right? It's just pain. <laughs> it's just, just hurting. Pain. Yeah. Um, man, man. Yeah, that's good. That's good, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking of a time where uh, communication is key yeah. when it comes to discipline. I'm thinking of a time, uh, this was just last year, my, my daughter, she had a, I, I got a call from the assistant principal and she in the office. And I don't get calls for her, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Just because, mm -hmm. you know, she she's she's a great kid, you know. Um, but, and the, it was some it was something goofy, something she was kind of peer pressure into doing, but it's still a big deal. You know, so I go and pick her up, and of course she's crying, and oh, you know. So again, this is I'm 37, 38 now. This so I'm a little, you know, I'm a little older, and uh, so we 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 talk on the way home, and you know, we get into the house and we talk talk some more. We're we're communicate. I'm asking her why you do, why, well, what happened, or uh, uh, what did she say? Okay, and how did you get caught doing it? And you know, just kind of asking those those questions. And after we got done, because of course she she's thinking it it was a big deal what she did. Um, she's thinking she she gonna get a, a spanking from dad. Mm. Um, 
she said, I love you so much. But what she was really saying is thank you for not whooping me. Mm. Even though it might have warranted that because it was a big deal. Yeah. Um, but that talking back and forth, that dialogue about what just happened, um, it, ch it, it changed her life. It changed her life, you know. So um, communication is key. I, I, and I think we need to probably just, to be honest, as parents, stay right there with the communication piece. I think, trust me, if you have a talk with your kid, they, they already know that they done done wrong. Mm. Right. Uh, you know what I mean? So, so why whoop them or, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or just harp on it and pound on it, pound on it, pound on it, make them feel so small, you know, um, it can be traumatic to, to some kids, you know. Wow. And I think, too, dang, I don't want to keep going. No, but, get uh, <laughs> I think, too, it's, uh, it's key in knowing your kids, too. Yeah. Some kids are more Facts. sensitive emotionally than others. Yeah. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when I talked about I had to apologize to, my, to, to, to one of my sons, mm. he was the more sensitive mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So it really wasn't no need for me to, to whoop him. Well, mm. me and him can just have a – a, a simple conversation where he know he, he, that he's wrong. Uh, let's get an understanding. Let me be more patient and empathetic for his situation. Mm. And it would have just been different. Mm. You know what I mean? So knowing, knowing each child is key yeah. is, is just key. Yeah. No, that's I, real. I, I, I like what you guys are both saying, and it's key. And I hope this is a takeaway for parents is, you have to gather the details first. You got to gather the data. What are we dealing with, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because you miss out key pieces. I remember being a kid um, in elementary, and one of the kids was passing out Pokemon cards for his birthday, right? Um, so <laughs> he passing them out. I'm geek, but I really have to go to the bathroom. So I was like, all right, I'm going to let him pass them out. I'm going to run to the bathroom, see what I get when I get back. I got back, and... When I got to my desk, I'm looking around like, where's my Pokemon card? I didn't get one, right? Mm -hmm. And Pokemon cards were, were big They were deal. the thing. They he were the man, they. right? <laughs> so I go, I'm looking around, and I check in. like, hey, bro, it's your birthday. How you doing? I'm glad, right, right? But I didn't get a Pokemon card. You know, he said, you know what? Don't worry, Norm. There's one on the teacher's desk. Take that one. It's an extra one. Finesse. I went, and I ran and got the Pokemon card. I mm. put it in my pocket. and I'm geek. Uh, and all I know is I'm in the classroom and I keep seeing the, t the teacher walk out, talk on the phone, come back. Um, and mm. before you know it, uh, the principal comes and gets me from the classroom. And I'm like, all right, you know what's up? The teacher said nothing to me. He said nothing to me. The mm. principal came and got me, took me to the office. And he said, you know what, Norm? Um, could you empty your, your pockets? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I empty them out. Talking like, hey, how you doing, Mr. Yeah, Aaron? yeah, yeah, right, he right. He said, uh, oh, this Pokemon card, where did you get it? I was like, oh, you know, um, Mark, he's just passed him out, you know, and I got mine now. So, uh, yeah, we, cause he had a good birthday. I'm, you know, I'm smiling <laughs> ear to ear. And next thing you know, okay. he said, well, you know what? I'm glad that you're being honest about taking it. Um, your dad is on your way up to the school. Mm. Um, here at... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do sure. not steal. That is one of our infractions. And oh. It's an automatic suspension. Oh. Right then I had an asthma attack, right? <laughs> just, her heart just dropped. You it wasn't even, it was here. about your dad. It my wasn't dad about. Was <laughs> yeah, right, right. I stopped right there. Right. I'm all. Say, forget stealing. They, they can't even talk to me. I can't even tell them that I didn't steal it. Yeah. They called my dad to right. the school. Yeah, right. They take me to the back, to the nurse's station. station Cause I'm having a real asthma attack because they caught my dad up there. So they give me a brown bag. I'm bringing out the bag, right? Try to get catch my breath. What? I, I mean, this is a true story. Yeah, this is real. No. <laughs> I breathed it out the bat. I literally, I walked to school. I stayed up the street. My dad worked third shift, so he was at home. Yeah. Minute, two minutes later, I see my dad in the window. Yeah. I'm still having an asthma attack. It is really coming now. Finally, they found an emergency inhaler, gave me an inhaler. Mm, okay. um, I get home, right? I'm trying to talk to my dad and say, hey, dad, whew, I can breathe now, dad. Hey, th there's a misunderstanding. This yeah. and this is going on. Yeah. Yeah. In the middle of that misunderstanding, I see him walk to his dresser and he gets the belt. Yeah. And I got a whooping of a lifetime yeah. for mm. stealing something yeah. or mm. a lack of details, yeah. right? 
Yeah. Now there were some whoopings I got I did deserve. Yeah. Yeah. But when you when you react out of emotion, that's good. That's you it. Don't gather the details. Yeah. You get in situations like that, and I think t- t- today I think we learned the importance of educating ourselves. Yeah. Education, educating yeah. our children with that whole teaching moment, right? Yeah. And talking and gathering yeah. the details. Yeah. And making sure that we're having, um, we're, we're mentally in a good place when we are having the conversation about discipline perfect. and what's going on. I think those are some of our key takeaways. What am That's I missing, perfect. Marielle and Andre? What are some, if you had to leave a, a takeaway for sure for parents that are listening in today, what would you have to share? I got a controversial statement. Go for it. Whoopings is a cop out. Oh, good. That's good. Whoopings. Wow. Physical discipline is a cop out. Wow. Why? And why you? Why you say that? It's easier to physically discipline mm. your child than to focus on that mental piece. Teach them. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I, I want to say words, but that just took my breath away. I like that. No, we can we can close. We that's the drop the mic moment, right? That's there. a drop the mic moment. <laughs> it's a cop out. Spankings are a cop out. Um, well, guys, I know I, I leave with the full cup today. We're so grateful for you guys listening in um, sure. to episode six of the Dab Movement. I am yep. so grateful for our guest, Marielle. Appreciate you, bro. Oh man, the Thank Harmon, you guys for man. Me. I mean, dropping. Gym. I knew we had the right guy. I knew we had the right guy. Good, man. I think today was. A masterpiece, man. I'm so grateful. Uh, my cup is full. My heart is full. I hope this blesses someone. I hope someone learns something. For sure. Um, and if you really learned something today, to show some love back, make sure you share this podcast. Go ahead and share it on your social media. Uh, share subscribe it to subscribe it. Subscribe to it. It yep. is on yep. uh, Spotify. It's on Spotify and it's on Apple. Yep. Apple Podcast. Apple Podcast. Well, and it's on YouTube. On and it's YouTube on YouTube, well. the Dad yep. Movement. Yep. So yep. share it on Facebook. Share it with your family and friends. Uh, peace, love, soul, yes. and hair yeah. grease. All those good things. <laughs> see, I yes. said hair grease because I'm going bald. So. <laughs> Man, I, I wish I could see Dre's. Yeah, yeah. Drip. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Kicks, and, kicks and coffee that, for sure. I know. Kicks and coffee. Yeah. I know. I'm you feeling see, it. Mario's over there smiling with a full head of hair. I seen your socks, though. I like them socks. Yeah, yeah, though. man. Fly. Fly, yeah, man. I love them socks. Yeah. You know, I like my jacket. A couple years old, <laughs> JCPenney was on clearance. Some, I got some Kohans. <laughs> you know, I got my Kohans, <laughs> right, Norm? <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, sure. y'all. Hey, guys. Thanks for listening in, man. Take care. Yeah, uh, love y'all. Spend time there. with your loved ones. Take care of yourself. Love you guys. Take care. I love you guys. Appreciate it.